local culinary community and the country are mourning the loss of an iconic Seattle chef. Terry Rotoro, known as the chef in the hat, passed away over the weekend. King Five's Brady Wakayama is here to share the chef's legacy and how he's being remembered here, Brady. Well, Madison and Steve, Chef Terry died at the age of 64. He was an award-winning Seattle chef who would wear his trademark fedora wherever he went. But those who were close to him say he was much more than the chef in the hat. I mean, you say chef in the hat, anybody that's been around here for, you know, five or ten years, you know who they're talking about. Chef Terry Rotoro has been dishing out some of the best food in Seattle for decades at his various restaurants. A highly regarded chef who won the James Beard Award for Best Chef in the Pacific Northwest in 1998. He had a lot of life. He had a lot of zest for life. Um, and it's, uh, it was just a good all-around guy. That's Todd Beasel, the vice president at Seattle-based Merlino Foods. It was one of the main vendors for Chef Terry's restaurants for more than 20 years. Beasel says he's heartbroken and still in shock by his passing. I think it's a big loss. I mean, he, he brought innovation. He brought, you know, and there were other French restaurants or French styled, but he had his own flair. Chef Terry is not only known for his iconic hat and delicious food, he's also known for his popular radio show, Seattle Kitchen, which he co-hosted with Tom Douglas. I, I think we're going to miss him on the, on the radio with Tom because that's been that's been huge to bring him and and food to the forefront of, of the, the city. Besold says the chef in the hat will remain iconic and never forgotten. In name chefs, he's got to be up in the top five. And Tom Douglas and King Five, a statement describing his friend as a generous soul and curious mind, saying he raised millions for charitable organizations here and across the country. In the studio, Brady Wakayama, King Five.